This little tool may be the most versatile tool you could purchase for your shop or your job site. Doesn't matter if you're installing cabinets or if you're in the mechanical trade or even working in auto body, anything like that. This thing is awesome and it has a bunch of features that I'm gonna show you how useful this thing can be. Let's go. This is the Milwaukee M12 Fuel 4-in-1 installation driver. You've got four different attachments that work together with this driver, and this will help you get into tight spaces and do a whole bunch of other stuff you couldn't normally do with other drills. My kit came with a charger, a battery, and then the four heads plus the drill in this nice little carrying case. They strap in nice and secure, so if you're taking this job site to job site, you don't have to worry about anything bouncing around. The size and weight of this thing is perfect for the shop. It's lightweight, it's not overly heavy, it's not overly big, and it's pretty powerful for what you're getting. And of course, you're getting all four of those driver heads. You're getting a regular drill chuck. This is metal, it's not plastic. And the way all of these connect is on this little piece here. And it has these notches on there that lock it in place depending on what you're using. This drill chuck, it doesn't matter. You can lock these angle pieces in 16 different positions as well as this offset. You can rotate it around in 16 different positions so you can get exactly where you need to get to drive screws, drill holes, remove screws, whatever you got to do. It also has a torque adjustment here from two all the way to drill. That way you can just get the power you need depending on what you're doing. If you're driving screws, you can turn this down so you don't strip your holes, things like that, which is really nice. This will be the perfect pocket hole screwdriver. It works very much like pneumatic tools. If you've ever used those, you know how you pull the little piece back before you attach your pneumatic tool? This works the same way and it locks in. Then you just pull to release. They go on and off very easily, but when they're on there, they're secure. They're not gonna come off unless you pull this piece. M12 tools have the little battery gauge on the side and you can use regular M12 batteries or you can use the higher output if you wanted to. Regular trigger, one thing that's missing is the mechanical forward and reverse switches. That's on top here with a push button. You get forward and reverse, but it's easily to hit with your thumb. One cool feature is though, if you push and hold the button, it'll actually lock out the trigger. That would be handy if you're hanging it on your pocket, things like that. It does come with a belt clip and it is two speed. It also has an LED light to light up your workspace. That's handy in tight spaces as well. One extremely nice feature is right here on the front, that's magnetic. So that is your bit holder. So if you're taking this in and off the job site, you don't have to worry about taking bits with you. You can stick a few on there and they stay. As far as the four driver heads you're gonna get, of course, as we stated earlier, you're getting the standard 3 8 inch drill chuck that you can use to drill holes, pocket holes, anything you wanna do with it. One thing is you need to take the bit out before you remove the drill head or it's extremely difficult to take those bits out. Not a big deal, just be aware of that. You are getting a standard quarter inch drive head as well, so you can use your impact bits or any other quarter inch drive bits that you have uh, in this. The only thing is this does not have an impact function, so it's just turning. It's not giving you that impact like normal impact drivers will. It's really one of the only downsides, but it's really not a downside, especially if you're driving screws, say like pocket hole screws, that way you don't overdrive them. I think that's kind of a nice idea to have here. You're also getting this offset driver attachment, which is gonna be super handy to have if you need to get up into the corner of something or close to the edge of anything to drill a hole, drive a screw, anything like that, this is gonna be extremely useful for you. Especially if you pair it to some impact or quarter inch drive drill bits like these are here. Now, a lot of people may have these quarter inch uh, right angle attachments for drills or impacts. I've shown these on the channel. I use this all the time, but this actually takes the place of that. With this attachment, you can, again, move this in 16 different positions, and not only can you use your quarter inch bits right there, this also will attach to any of the other three attachments. So you can use your offset piece with the 90 degree, you can use your driver piece, which I don't know why you would use the driver piece, but you can because it would fit. And then also you can use the drill to get into really tight spaces and drill holes. As far as drilling a standard hole, using a standard bit into regular wood, the drill performs extremely similar to a regular M12 drill. The only difference would be that the M12 drill will allow you to have a hammer function. So if you're drilling into concrete, things like that, you'd probably wanna go with more of a hammer drill. But as far as standard woodworking and drilling, it's gonna perform very similar to the M12 drill. As far as driving screws with the installation driver, 
It is a tad bit underpowered compared to the M12. This is a Gen 3, I believe, uh, M12 drill. So if you're wanting more power, then you're obviously going to go with a more dedicated drill slash driver. So the reason you're seeing much more power out of the drill is it has 450 pounds of torque out of this little drill, this Gen 3. This installation driver is 300 pounds of torque, so it's quite a bit less powerful as far as driving through like two pieces of two by six straight through. It still drove it all the way in there. However, this drill is a little more powerful uh, as far as that goes. I really don't think there's a reason for it to be that powerful for the type of things you would use this for. But if you need to get it in tight spaces, this is where this shines. Let me show you. This is where a lot of people are going to be like, I got to get me one of those. <laughs> when you have a place that is really tight that you can't get a normal drill into there easily and you start stripping those screws, which happens quite a bit, you try to get on there and because of where it's at, the drill is bumping out on the top of the cabinet or whatever you're trying to get to and you, you're having to turn that drill slightly. Because of that offset, you're able to get right up next to the cabinet or the board or anything you're, you're bumping up against and be able to remove those screws without having to worry about stripping it. Because this thing has 16 different positions and it goes along with that offset, like right here, it's hard to get to that screw that's right there in the corner. I can set that kind of at a 45, maybe a little less than a 45 degree angle and still have enough reach to get in there to that screw as well as deal with this board there. It just makes it so versatile no matter what situation you run into. This is where the right angle part really shines because I have a very tight space. I need to drill a hole underneath this piece of plywood. Just take a drill bit with that right angle attachment. I can drill that hole. Then I can just swap bits right here in place and then drive a screw or take it out, whatever I need to do. But this is a great tight space installation driver. I actually don't think this is a replacement for your drill. I think this is the second drill you should buy for your shop or your job site. You're not gonna replace the power. Even out of this 12 volt drill, it has much more torque than this. I also find the forward and reverse switch a little annoying only because you're so used to that mechanical switch forward and back on regular drills. It's not a huge deal. You just throw your thumb up there and change it, but it does take some getting used to. And the last thing I wish they would improve on is the offset attachment. It's not magnetic and it doesn't lock the bit in place. So you'll see, even when I was using it, where the drill bit would come out or the driver bit would come out when I would try to move the drill away from it. If they would make that either a really strong magnet or what they should do is make it like their impact attachment that has the lock in place where you just pull it to lock it in and then pull it to release it. It comes with a really nice soft case, but don't really care for those soft cases in the shop. So I went ahead and picked up a pack out and then this Kaizen foam, I did a really bad job of cutting it out my first time. But as you can see, it gives me a really nice place to store this entire kit. This also allows me to, I almost dropped that, did you see that? <laughs> this also allows me to take it inside the house or wherever I need to go and have all the parts available in one spot. That's why I put it in the pack out. If you like this type of content, hit that subscribe button right there. Be sure you click the bell icon and click all so you get notified of all the new content I've got coming. This might be my favorite tool purchase of 2023 so far. I love this little tool. Now, if you'd like to check it out for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below as well as the pinned comments to a couple of authorized dealers because you want to buy Milwaukee tools from authorized dealers. Check each of those links just to make sure you're getting the lowest price because certain sites will have them on different prices at different times depending on the sale. I want you to get the best deal possible. If you like this video and you're a fan of Milwaukee, you got to see their Milwaukee track saw. Click that box right there. Click in the box to get you the big old virtual fist pump. Also, another one of my favorite videos right there.